In this video, we will be testing the wear capacity of different creases. A metallic surface is pressed against a spinning bearing, which is coated in grease, and then the wear patterns are observed along with the amperage being drawn. In this video, we can see a red grease has been applied. This is a red and tacky grease. Current amperage without much weight is 4.2 amps. As the second weight is added, the amperage jumps up to about 4.5 and actually increases up to 4.7. The third weight is added. The amperage is now 5.2 or 5.1. This is indicating that the grease is not able to produce a steady lubrication film. As the final two weights are added, we notice a little bit of smoke being generated from the surfaces indicating the grease has failed. As the final weight is added, the bearing stops turning and the amps are maxed out at 6.2. In this scenario, this grease has failed. We will now observe the wear scar on the non-moving surface. The scar is quite deep and nearly the entire length of the wear surface. The second grease being tested is G200EP. This grease is tan in color and you can see it is applied to the spinning surface. The starting amperage is 4.3. As the second weight is added, the amperage increases slightly to 4.4. As the third weight is added, the amperage increases slightly but remains near 4.3 to 4.4. Again, the fourth weight increases only slightly up to 4.5. The final weight generates amperage of 4.5. No smoke is noted. And due to the low amperage, we know that the grease film is intact and supplying excellent lubricity. We will now look at the wear scar. The wear scar in this case is extremely hard to identify. It's barely noticeable on the surface of the wear component. Let's look at them side by side. It's amazing to see the difference in wear scar. A true EP grease like G200EP provides much better wear protection and pressure protection than a simple red and tacky grease.